but Lord Nargo, Bit, uh, Bitcoin and digital current, just digital currency in itself, shakes up the the traditional pillars that have been that have taken centuries to build. Fuel scooping. I mean, going back to the earliest ages of gold and silver. You know, currency was either physical or a promissory note, you know? It was all in hand. It was all managed that way. Now, computers were able to give you digital representations of where that stuff was. But now we got digital currency, which in essence just exists in the form of ones and zeros. And that whole idea of gold and silver is now gone. So that that's centuries worth of work that they gonna they're gonna have to rethink four three two one engage i mean here's what i think i i want somebody to fix iot like i got this stupid hub here I got this stupid Philips Hue hub that probably has a weak password for his admin functions that some country is probably using to DDoS somebody. They need to fix that stuff. I mean, that's more important than blockchain because IoT is a mess right now. It is, it is an absolute, just, it is the worst implementation implementation of security i've ever seen in my life and the fact that they're selling these devices like hotcakes with passwords of either blank or password it just boggles the mind three two one engage you're selling ddos devices man and that's like the only device in my house like that and i, I look at it and i'm going you know, I need to unplug that thing every night. <laughs> Alright, I need to get in there and try to figure out how to change the password on there, because... But even then, even the password does get changed, they, there's such a weak security layer on them. I mean, I want my light bulbs DDoS and Blizzard. Mage, that's so evil. Your fridge is now locked. You cannot eat until you send five thousand dollars to this Bitcoin wallet. <laughs> We're gonna show a picture of your hamburgers. <laughs> you see that? You can have that. Oh man. <laughs> That is so bad. Oh, but it's highly possible. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Fuel scoop disengaged. All your Hagen Dots belong to us. We're gonna turn off the freezer and watch your ice cream melt. Oh man. That's <laughs> that's so funny. I didn't I've never thought about that. I have never thought about that. That is amazing. Four, three, that would make a good two, movie. One, engage. Somebody somebody write a, a, a fan fiction or some kind of a short story about a pirate, a digital pirate who hacks appliances. Somebody could be somebody could be ironing their clothes and then they go, Bzz. why did I burn my shirt? <laughs> I have hacked your iron. You see those dishes in there? They're going to melt. I have turned the temperature up to 3,000 Kelvin. It's now as hot as the sun. Oh man! But a lot, a lot of the, a lot of the sci-fi stuff, they already do that. Even on TV shows, they like, they like hack appliances and stuff. I need to stand up. I've been sitting down for six hours. Uh, they call it. They will call him the appliance. No, he's the janitor. <laughs> Four, three, Call him the two, janitor. One. He's the janitor. He's the. Oh no, 
It's the janitor. I've come to clean up the trash. I've doubled the wattage of your lights. Fuel scooping. It's going to burn your home, increasing the heat. Every month, your power bill will Fuel now double. Complete. Unless you send $5,000 to this Bitcoin address. <laughs> Lawnmower Man Part 3, yeah. Or like the Johnny Depp movie. Uh, what was it called? Where he became a computer. Oh my goodness! I control your toilets and you can't flush. Three, two, Till I get $5,000 to this Bitcoin address. <laughs> oh no, the janitor is struck again. Oh. That's that's too good, man. That's way too good. You guys are you guys are entertaining me beyond belief. Don't stop, please. Don't stop. <laughs> Fuel scooping. Sports is right. I'm gonna be done with this this trip. Fuel scoop disengaged. <laughs> I love the toilet wood. My toilet won't flush. And a message pops up on the screen. Send $5,000 to this Bitcoin address. Or this poop stays here forever. <laughs> Three, two, one. Engage. <laughs> That's so mean. And I had Chipotle. No. <laughs> Oh gosh. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that's too good. That's too good. Wow, man. Gosh, that's too good. That is really good. <laughs> Yeah, they, they need to fix IoT now. I think pe it, it used to be a big story in the news, and then it, blockchain. Everybody started talking about blockchain now. Four, three, two, one. Then again, they might they might be still working on it. But it's like it's one of those things. That there's a lot of devices that got bought and are out there and are connected to the internet that people aren't going to update. They're appliances. You're not going to update your toaster. I'm not gonna update your fridge. You're gonna get a new one. So it's like, it's, it's it's a problem. Even if they do something now, the way they deployed everything is kind of the worst case scenario for this. It's like we got all this, all these zombie, all these zombie nodes basically that are there for the picking that nobody's gonna touch. I had Taco Bell for lunch. No, curse you, janitor hacker. Oh man! Whew, it's like you get home from work, you're like, man, I can't. It's Monday night football. Let's watch the football game. Four, you're not three, watching the football game. Two, you're gonna watch one, Martha Stewart game. until I get five thousand dollars up to this Bitcoin address. <laughs> Send five thousand dollars to my Bitcoin wallet, or you get Martha Stewart marathon. <laughs> no. <laughs> The janitor strikes again. <laughs> oh, C-SPAN. Oh, that's even worse. Oh, my goodness. It'd be C-SPAN. Oh, man. You might actually start to like C uh, Martha Stewart. Not C-SPAN. Fuel scooping complete. I was watching... Uh, I've been watching this new series... Not new series. I've been watching Madam Secretary on Netflix... Really good so far. I'm like three or four episodes in. She cracked me up with a line she said. She she said. I think one of her aides said. It'll be all over C-SPAN. She was like. Four people watch C-SPAN. <laughs> exactly four people watch C-SPAN. We have nothing to worry about there. I was cracking up man. I was like yep. <laughs> four, three. Two. One. Engage. <laughs> 
that's a good series though. If you if you got Netflix and you need something to binge, my wife turned me on to it. It's called uh, Madam Secretary. Um, it's about this woman who's Secretary of State and all the the White House drama stuff that we love so much, you know. Fuel scooping. But it's a really good take on it, you know, like a family perspective on it. Fuel scooping complete. I never saw West Wing. Maybe it is like West Wing. I don't know. I haven't saw West Wing or the other one with uh, who had uh, the one that the, the big White House show on Netflix that had to do that everybody hates now. Four, three. I didn't two, watch that one either. One, engage. House of Cards. Yeah, House of Cards. I didn't watch that one either. I might go back and watch it. Kevin Spacey? Yeah, Kevin Spacey. That's his name. Fuel scooping. Yeah, everybody hates Kevin Spacey now. Like, I saw an article. I didn't know it until I saw an article. It was like his new project. He, it was like they sold 57 tickets or something. And people were like, ooh, good. I'm like, why? And then I, I, saw, I read on. I was like, oh. 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 Like, I don't follow news very much. That kind of news, I should say. I follow the important news. Four, three, two, one, engage. Like, I follow hurricanes and certain, certain politics stuff. Not a lot, but certain stuff that could affect our country. What's this game about? Looks so cool. It's a giant space sandbox where you can do whatever you want, man. Whatever the game allows you to do. Um, it's a space flight simulator. You're essentially in the cockpit of a ship or an SRV all the time. You can't get out and move like in, in No Man's Sky or anything like that. And you can mine, trade, be a bounty hunter, be a, you know, be an explorer. It's a one-to-one -one mapping of the galaxy. If I show you the galaxy map and go to realistic mode. This is a one-to-one -one mapping to the best of our ability of the Milky Way galaxy, right? So this is the center of our Milky Way galaxy, Sagittarius A, and all this stuff, all these stars, there's billions of them. You can basically explore and jump and, and do all kinds of cool stuff with it. Earth is in here. You know, we got a lot of the, you know, our solar system in here. Um, it's cool, man. It's a, it's a, it's a science nerds playground. Or I should say a, a, a space science nerds, space science nerds playground. Here's Earth. There's our sun, Sol. There's Mercury. There's Venus. There's Earth. There's, you know, the usual suspects, Mars, asteroid belt, Jupiter, Uranus. I'm sorry, Saturn, then Uranus. Neptune. And then you got all these guys who want to be planets but aren't, including Pluto. <laughs> Pluto's a planet. Change my mind. Jump. Assuming direct control. Lol. Just kidding. Oh, I gotta change this we back. Go this will get this. I might run out of gas. I should change this back to map. There we go. Otherwise, it's gonna be something else. The Rick and Morty episode convinced me that Pluto was not a planet. Those shows tend to have one of Four, those three, ranty, two, one, very word dense explanations that are not designed for a conversation. It's more along the lines of I'm going to disprove this, 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 and I'm going to give you my reason in one ramble statement. And people take that and run with it. Fuel scooping. I, um,. I mean, when I was in college, I, I got a whole new perspective on science. I was just like, just not science, but like scientific method. Fuel scoop disengaged. I never knew, like in high school, I didn't know this. It was like so, like the foundations, a vast majority of foundations of science are based on assumptions. And it's only a matter of time before some of those assumptions are disproven. 
Especially with physics. <laughs> it's, it's, something's, it's gonna get disproven by just observing something that, that's not supposed to happen. And it's gonna break down a lot of stuff that science built up based on that. I was like, man, this is... Uh, we used to do stuff in, in, in school. It's just like... It's like, it's assuming this. It's assuming that. It's assuming this. I'm like, well, what if that's not true? Well, that's always true. I'm like, uh, okay. What if the speed of flight is not constant? Oh, okay. Uh, oh. All right. What if gravity is not <laughs> constant here? What if this, you know, it's just like all these assumptions you make. Fuel scooping complete. It was just, I learned that in college. I was just like, wow, it's a lot of assumptions. Just assume this, assume that, assume this, assume that. And I mean, a lot of it is sound. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm just saying, what if, and one day, like past science got, has been disproven before. So, um, it's just like something's going to come over here and like somebody's going to, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I can't even come up with an imaginary thing that's going to happen that say, wait a minute, that must mean the speed of light is not constant, you know, and all this kind of stuff. Yeah, but that, the, the problem I have with that Phoenix Blue is that they treat it as fact. That's the thing. It's treated as a factual statement based on an assumption that could be disproven. And until it's disproven, it's fact. And that's that's kind of weird to me. Fuel scooping complete. You would think something that's factual is not based on an assumption. That's, I think I had this conversation with one of my college professors. I'm like, why is it called, why are these things called facts if they're based on assumptions? You know, I'm like, it's not really a fact. It's, it's like, it's like medicine. <laughs> it's like you're practicing medicine. It's like it's, you're making guesses based on, you know, prior knowledge. That's, that's, that, you know, that's smart, but to call it factuals. Yeah, it's theories. I mean, that's what I'm talking about, like theories. But theories are treated as fact in science. We're here, chat. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. I don't know. It's just one of those discussions that really don't have any kind of major meaning. It's just one of those things that make you go, hmm, like shower thoughts, you know? Oh, Pac, did you catch Jack Ryan? Dude, I'm into that kind of stuff, too, man. I'm into that kind of stuff, too. I, I saw, I think I'm on episode four now. I saw the first three episodes, and I'm into it. It's a good series. But see, DBRN, here's the thing. They don't teach you that. I didn't learn that till college. Like, just how many things are based on theories, you know? Um, I didn't learn that till college. In high school and in, in junior high, you're taught that these things are fact. And I think that's misleading. I really do. I mean, you're not taught that about medicine. Everybody, I mean, even at a young age, I knew that medicine was like more of a practice than it is anything. Like, you guess. It's like, oh, you have this system, this symptom, this symptom. You have this that runs in your family. This is this. You're this age. You're this height. You're this weight. It's probably this. And that's usually based on some theories, too, and past stuff. But medicine isn't a factual thing. It's, it's... And I think science is very similar to that. But if you, t if you talk to a doctor of science and a doctor of medicine... Most doctors of science look down on doctors because they don't consider it as a true, a true logical method. It's kind of like PC master race type stuff. It's kind of weird. But it's essentially the same thing. I mean, it's based on prior knowledge and prior assumptions. And if you tell somebody you disagree with something that's, you know, 
been scientifically proven, they look at you like you're crazy. Request docking. You got it, Captain. We're at the Gnosis chat. <clears throat> we did it. I can't believe I made it here. Deploy landing gear. Show them how a good landing is done, Commander. Boop. Be a shame if I blew up here, wouldn't it? And, oh, don't get me started on studies. Don't get me started on studies. Oh, my gosh. Let me tell you about studies. Did you know that Elite Dangerous causes cancer? It did? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just, it's just shower thoughts, chat. Stuff to talk about while we jump to the Gnosis. So we're going to hitch a ride. How are they going to keep all of us in here? There's going to be thousands of pilots in here. This thing is not big enough. All right, chat. What time is it? I went a lot longer in the league than I anticipated. It's 10 o'clock. I got like two more hours. I'm going to take a break. I'll be right back. We're probably going to switch to another game. I uh, wish I had more time, but um, I could go longer, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to be careful. I just came off a subathon where I couldn't even make it 12 hours. So I want to be sure I don't overdo it. But I'm going to take a three-minute break. I'll be right back, and we're going to come back with some more games. Um, <laughs> all the pilots are stored in a blockchain. <laughs> 